Well, we uh, opening morning here. It snowed a bunch, you can see. And uh, storm rolled in this morning. It was super foggy and we couldn't see, but as soon as it broke, we came out to this lookout where we were, this is where we've been scouting. This is where we scouted early this summer and saw some good bulls and looked up on the snowy basin. Big, big bull feeding out by himself in the sun. He's a long ways away. Big six by six with an awesome back end. And I'll tell you what, this thing has nothing weak. I'm gonna leave some guys right here to watch him. And uh, Sperry and I are gonna go in and try to put the sneaks on him. See if we can get him. Our good friend Michael Sperry beat the odds and drew one of the two non-resident tags for a late season muzzleloader elk hunt in the state of Nevada. Let's go back to the summer months and see where the preparation for this hunt really began. Since Mike had never been to the unit before, he spent as much time scouting and getting familiar with the country as possible before his hunt started. I've never seen a town like this. It's the coolest town I've ever seen, dude. Being the hunt started on October 8th, they hoped to catch the tail end of the rut. But with an early snowstorm, the rutting action was slow and most of the big bulls had pulled away from the cows. Now we just passed like a 300, six by six, had him at 220. But nope, he's not quite big enough, uh, not what we're looking for. So. We'll keep hunting. Seeing elk though, finally it broke a little bit, so it's just up from here. It's gonna get better every day. Eric glassed up a giant six point bull, probably 370 type bull. He's forever away, but it's midday. We're gonna make a move on him. spotted about 800 yards away. Um, Eric spotted him when we were riding horses down in here after that other big, big bull. Um, we're gonna look them over and decide whether we wanna make a play on them or whether we wanna go after that other one. Man down here on the horses, so we're gonna tie them up. Bulls in this canyon, um, quite a ways up. There's a big herd of cows and another six point. It's just up on the other side of this knob. Um, we're gonna sneak past them down on the bottom. And then there's Mahogany Ridge up there. We're gonna follow and try to get in on where that bull went. Um, hopefully we can get in on him. He's a really nice bull. So we'll see how we can do.
He said. He's sick. He's going down. Yeah! Yeah! Beautiful, Beautiful shot. Oh, buddy. We just whacked a giant, baby. <laughs> 175 yards, we waited for him to come out in the open. <laughs> Freaking one shot, stoned him. I think he's dead. He's down, huh? He rolled. He rolled, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the right. See that big black dark tree? Stop, baby. You see him? <laughs> oh, wow. Gorgeous. my 2011 Nevada bull um, opening day. We spotted him this morning about 11 o'clock. We went and got Barry and Sharon and their horses and they ran us down here and then we had a little march up the bottom of the canyon and we came up the back side of this ridge and we snuck over and we spotted him. He was feeding in these little new growth aspens that are in this burn and I snuck a little bit closer uh, about 75 yards across the slope just while I was feeding in the thick stuff and I had him, I ranged him about 173 yards and there was a bunch of brush in the way so I waited just above that there was a pretty good opening where I figured he'd clear I'd have a five foot window or so uh, we waited probably three or four minutes it seemed like forever to me he came up through that opening and when he got there he was quartering a little bit away from me and I waited and he turned broadside and I put the old peep side on him and touched off the night 45 caliber muzzleloader and he hunched up and ran about 10 yards and tumbled. Game over. One shot, one kill. So. Thanks to time spent scouting and a great group of friends, he was able to harvest an awesome bull. Congrats, Mike, on taking this gorgeous bull.